Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. I invite your attention to our text for the morning, the Gospel according to St. Luke, the sixth chapter, verses 41 and 42. Jesus says to his disciples, Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, friend, let me take out the speck in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will be able to see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. The meditation is entitled, Log In, Log Out. Log In, Log Out. Jesus knew human nature so well that on one hand, he recognized that everyone needs the capacity for wholesome self-esteem. And yet, on the other hand, he recognized that everyone needs the capacity for wholesome self-examination. Likewise, Jesus knew that one of the most valuable assets of a group is the capacity for wholesome self-esteem. Whether that group is a community organization, a business, an institution, an ethnic group, or an entire nation. And Jesus also knew that the most valuable asset for the group is the capacity for wholesome self-examination. Whether that organization is a community organization, a business, an institution, an ethnic group, or an entire nation. For many of us, self-examination feels too much like self-criticism, self-effacement, self-devaluation, or just putting ourselves down. Jesus helps us to see that constructive self-examination is not our enemy, like someone attacking us with unbearable guilt, blame, shame, preventing us from wholesome confidence that we can get on with life. Jesus enables us to see more deeply how open, honest, soul-searching self-examination enables us to see ourselves as we ought to see ourselves, to see ourselves as we ought to see ourselves. Remember the grim fairy tale of Snow White and the seven dwarfs, or seven little persons? The queen asked, mirror, mirror on the wall, Who's the fairest of them all? The mirror answers, Thou, O queen, art the fairest in the land. Then one day the queen asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, Who's the fairest of them all? The mirror hesitated and said, Snow White, O queen, is the fairest of them all. This, of course, created a very disgruntled queen, and it wasn't just because of something she ate. For many of us, self-examination is no more than comparing ourselves to other people. Many of us would prefer to be flattered with insincere praise and compliments, or even lied to rather than to openly and honestly be informed 
of what we need to hear. We would much rather critique others, pointing out their deficiencies, inadequacies, imperfections, faults, weaknesses, frailties, and lack of this, that, or the other. And so we hear Jesus asking the disciples, just as he asked the church today, why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, friend, let me take that speck out of your eye, when you yourself do not see the log protruding out of your own eye. It would just take a pair of tweezers to remove the speck from your neighbor's eye, but it would take a chainsaw. Vroom, vroom, to remove the log from your own eye. Many of us are familiar with something called projection. Projection, that's our key word for this meditation. Dr. Nancy McWilliams, a psychoanalyst, reminds us that from infancy, the newborn must distinguish between what is inside me and what is in the outside world. There may be that within me that is unconsciously unacceptable to me. And therefore, I relate to what is unacceptable in me as if it were in you. When I project, it's like I become a, a multimedia projector other people become a screen upon which I project what I find objectionable or unacceptable to me about me. On the positive side, projection of our own experience onto someone else may help us to understand what it's like to be the other person, especially in the earlier years of our growth and development as human beings. But on the other hand, projection can lead to serious misunderstandings and interpersonal conflicts on the level of race and nation, ethnicity, religion, and other world tensions which can involve projection. Projection of what is unconsciously, unconsciously unacceptable in my group projected onto your group. Jesus goes on to say, you hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. It is the disciples to whom Jesus is speaking, religious people, without the faculty of self-examination, represent the ones most in danger of claiming moral superiority over others, warning the rest of the world of their wrongdoing. The word that Jesus uses to describe the disciples is translated hypocrites. But at that time, that is during his day, it meant actors. Jesus was telling the disciples, stop putting on an act. This same Jesus is telling the church of Jesus Christ today, stop putting on an act. 
get that chainsaw and cut the log out of your own eye so you can then take the tweezers to remove the splinter from your neighbor's eye. The Apostle Paul reminds us before we partake of Holy Communion or the Lord's Supper, let a man examine himself before he eats of that bread or drinks of that cup. In our self-examination, believing upon the gracious act of God in Jesus Christ, we discover a level of acceptance, even in our unacceptability. Grace, a level of acceptance, even in our own unacceptability. And our confession and repentance of the log in our own eyes may lead us to discover within ourselves unseen gifts, unseen gifts of resourcefulness, a sense of curiosity and wonder, willpower and patience and passion and humility, unseen gifts of gratitude and acceptance and integrity and honesty without the log in our own eyes, unseen gifts of loyalty, responsibility, compassion and forgiveness, unseen gifts of authenticity and bravery, generosity and perseverance, kindness and optimism, reliability and self-discipline. Get that log out of your own eye, Jesus says to his disciples. Get that log out of your own eye, Jesus says to those of us in the world today. Yes, there are many ongoing issues and crises facing our nation and our world today, from the corona pandemic to West Coast wild, wildfires to economic crisis, hurricane disasters, social justice unrest, racial issues, the November election. But there is a familiar hymn in the church entitled, Just a Little Talk with Jesus. Here are some of the words. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. He bathed my heart in love and wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Hear a little more, will you? I may have doubts and fears, my eyes be filled with tears, but Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. I go to him in prayer. He knows my every care, and just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. And then the chorus, now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our, our faintest cry. You know, the cry that, that others may not hear, others may not even care about. He'll hear our faintest cry and answer by and by. And when you feel a little prayer wheel turning, you'll know a little fire is burning, and you'll find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Amen.
Oh, the depth of the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments. How inscrutable are his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Or who has given a gift to him that he might be repaid? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen.